going on guys well today i'm just bringing you this quick video on the asrock b550m pro 4 motherboard this is a micro atx form motherboard i picked this up for the new tester system so let's get right to it shall we here's your back plate metal but it does have cushion look at that I mean, it's not pre-installed it's not one of those fancy ones but hey you know what it's got some cushion there so that's that's cool um two set of cables one at a 90 degree there your drivers and your case badge the cd we're not going to use it we're going to go to the asrock website and download the latest drivers your user guide or user manual whatever you want to call it we're gonna go ahead and keep this, this comes handy. You got your M.2 screws here to attach your M.2 heat sink on your PCI Express uh, or M.2 SSD. All right, so let's get the good stuff out of the box here. Ready then. And here is the motherboard. Let me get it out of the box. And here it is, guys the B550M Pro 4 by ASRock. This is actually a very nice looking board. It doesn't have that matte black PCB. I mean, it has, it has some shine to it. But uh, look at this thing. Man, very elegant Astrock. Let's get a close up here. Look at the brushed aluminum heat sink there. It's a nice touch. And I have to tell you, that thing is massive. I mean, the weight on this thing. Yeah, you feel it look at that and you also have a pretty nice brushed aluminum south bridge heat sink here and your m.2 is also brushed aluminum as you can see there but anyway um here's your pc um your cpu power connector eight pin up at the top there and um let's see you got two um cpu fan headers you got four DDR4 memory slots, 24-pin uh, power connector for the motherboard. You get two SATA ports here, and also you get two more or four more SATA ports here at a 90-degree angle, which is really nice. You got an additional um, PCIe slot here for another SSD, uh, in addition to your primary one here this goes to a CPU this is attached to the south bridge so and here you have your front port panel connectors USB 3.0 one more fan header USB 2.0 ports two more fan headers it's really nice and you have your audio here and you have your RGB for your um, cooler if you want to go that route And here, I believe this is an isolated PCB also for your audio. I don't know if you can tell that there. Here, right underneath your heat sink, you have one more fan header, which is, um, it's nice. I mean, this thing is full of fan headers. You got one, two, three, four, five, six fan headers. Real nice. Man, Astrock, they're not messing around. Um, yeah and also your pci express slot here for your graphics card is uh, enforced with metal your secondary one is not but uh, the primary one is so yeah this is really nice the uh, power delivery on this um, motherboard it's a uh, 8 plus 2 power delivery system and that's plenty i mean it's um for even up to a 5950x 
this this thing will have no problem um, pushing the latest AMD CPUs so yeah nothing to worry there nothing to worry about now let's look at the back plate looking at the back plate here you have your VGA legacy VGA you have your HDMI you have your display port PS2 if you want to use a older keyboard for tinkering with your BIOS 2.0 ports two of them you have your type C connector USB 3.1 USB 3.0 USB 3.0 so you have total four USB 3.0 your Ethernet gigabit Ethernet and your audio out so let's look at the back of the motherboard which is something that I like to pay attention to um, and it looks like on your primary heatsink, which is for the um, for the VRM, they are using screws, okay, to hold it in place. Um, the south bridge is being held by plastic pins, which may or may not be an issue. I mean, I don't know how often you go and take those out, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. But I like the fact that they're using screws here instead of pins, so that's really nice. Um, your graphics card. Your primary graphics card uh, soldering points they seem to be okay they're using enough soldering there so that's good i like to see a little more but you know what hey don't make a difference at least they're not using plastic pens like they're using here like they used to do back in the day so that's a good thing um yeah i mean pretty basic just the back of the motherboard pretty basic layout um, zoom out here so you guys can see what that looks like so let's go back to the front here and um, you can't really see the, uh, the thermal pad there that they're using on the, uh, on the VRM but it looks like it might be a one millimeter thermal pad I'm not 100% sure anyway um, this with this you also get the ability to um, use a, an M.2 Wi-Fi card if you choose to you could just install it right there so you can buy that separately which is really nice I mean you have the ability to do so so if you want to go wireless boom you just hook it up right there directly to your to your motherboard so yeah and yeah you also get another I forgot to see uh, point this out you get you get another USB 3.0 port here for the front panel and also, before I forget, guys, um, I want to tell you that this motherboard, according to the specs, this motherboard supports, memory-wise, it supports up to 4733 megahertz. Um, I want to point out that that is not guaranteed. So if you're if you're trying to push your 4733 with this board with the right memory, you can reach those speeds, but it all depends on the memory sticks that you're using. So that's not guaranteed. Um, ASRock just tells you, hey, you know what, you can push it up to 4733, but it's not guaranteed. So maybe, maybe not, they, they, they tell you that, but I, I want to point that out to you so that you, you know going in that if you don't get those speeds, don't be surprised. It's just, and besides, the memory controllers for the AMD processors are not the greatest. So, you know, you, you, you're going to have to uh, uh, tweak out some settings there. I think the best bet would be just to tweak out your latency instead of trying to push up so you know your memory speed because that's just not it's not going to give you very positive results now getting into the bios this is the typical asrock bios that you see with asrock motherboards very simplistic and i appreciate that actually i'm not too you know too keen on the uh complicated stuff you know all those bioses that you have a hard time getting around trying to figure out where things are I'm not here you get a pretty simple layout very intuitive and I appreciate that from ASRock uh, they always pay attention to that aspect of their motherboards so it's very nice here you can uh, tweak out your memory if you you know get some inf memory information you can tweak out your memory speed uh, you have your memory dividers if you want to overclock your memory you get a stable overclock on your memory you know that's important um, of course your timings you can't do without your timings um, and with this board you get low line calibration yippee that's nice for those that want to overclock your you know their cpus um, that's nice to have 
to be able to maintain a, a stable system. So yeah, kudos to you, ASRock. And here you can control your RGB if you have RGB installed uh, in your system also for your CPU. That's where you, you would go and uh, tweak that out. Um, another thing that I do like about ASRock motherboards is their fan control. Super nice, very simple to use. It reminds me a little bit of um, Asus's approach, uh, but this one here is a little more intuitive in my opinion. It's just more simple, uh, straight to the point. You know, you don't have to go through all the hoops and loops, and it also has a fan automatic fan tuning for you, so it's really nice. So, overall, I love the ASRock BIOS as you can tell. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. This is just a quick overview of this new motherboard that I picked up. I'm going to be building a system, so stay tuned for that, and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about the performance the pros and cons of the motherboard itself after I have been using it for a little while um, and what I do appreciate about it so yeah stay tuned for that that video is coming right up take care guys